Welcome back, this is Yank Froggy. Uh, a little while ago someone asked me to do a Photoshop tutorial to uh, make fairy wings on children. And I thought it'd be a challenging and fun project, thought I'd give it a shot. thought it was a cute idea, so let's, let's give it a shot here. I went on Google Image Search and I typed in dragonfly wings and found these. Uh, you can type in fairy wings and there's quite a bit of variety that you can use. So I just picked these. It's a black and white image. If you find a black and white image, make sure you go to Image, Mode, and then click on RGB so you can actually color it. And the first thing I want to do is isolate the black and change, the, change that to a multi-hued color. So I go to Select, Color Range, click anywhere on the deepest black, set the fuzziness all the way to 200, max it out and click OK. That masks, masks out the black. Then go to your fill tool, your paint bucket, and select the gradient editor. Click on that. Select the rainbow effect here. Click OK. And set the opacity all the way up to 100. Then where your cursor is, just push down, then drag a line across and let go and it will color the um, the out the lines of the wings. Control Z to back up. You can experiment. Put depending on where you lay it down, it'll give you different effects. And um, you can ex experiment with that. I like that one. Now we're gonna erase the background. So pick your square tool here. Click anywhere on the image to get rid of the mask. Go to your eraser tools. There's three of them. Pick the bottom one, which is magic eraser tool click anywhere on the outside make sure the contiguous box is checked otherwise it'll erase all the white it'll stay outside the wings if the contiguous um, box is checked as long as your wings have a, a continuous line it won't seep into the inside if it does have an opening you want to close it before you do this alright we've erased our background now we're going to color the inside the white cells of the wings so I'm going to go back to my select tool color range and then click with my picker on the white again 200 maxed out click OK now we've masked the whites and I'm going to use that same gradient editor in the rainbow mode this, this time I'm going to use the opacity way down to say 32 and I'm going to drag out another line and voila we've colored our wings now next I want to make them translucent so I go back to the eraser tool this time pick the top one the regular eraser tool and the opacity at 35 is perfect and I'm just gonna erase with make sure you have a soft edge brush I'm just gonna erase around the middle of the wings to sh so that's where you'll see the background going through and um, leave color on the outside of the wings so you don't lose all your color and as you do this you can see the background kind of showing through and uh, if you had the translucency at a higher setting it would be even more clear I'm gonna put another coat to cut it make it a little bit more clear inside the center maybe even a third one like so okay now go back to your selection your square selection rectangle box and select one of the wings actually I'm gonna select the, the bottom one the fatter one we'll put put that one on top of her and hit control C to copy it minimize this image to get it out of the way maximize the little girl and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on her and then just draw, draw a little square and control V to paste down now we're gonna position the wing see how you can see through the wing I'm gonna go to um, edit free transform and you'll get a selection box that you can manipulate there's a little arrow here on the outside where I can rotate it and then if you push anywhere on the center of the black cursor here the arrow you can put it into position and I'm gonna have it so it's kinda right behind her neck right around the back of her her back and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more and then hit the uh, check mark to apply your transformation and I'm gonna lay another wing down just control V again and since it's facing the wrong direction I'm just gonna go to edit transform flip horizontal 
and then edit free transform and do the same on the other side rotate it into position like so don't worry about it, it being in front of her we're gonna take care of that later hit the check mark and now we're gonna minimize this image go back to the dr dragonfly wing image and cut that one out the, the other wing control C to copy it minimize it go back to the little girl draw out a little square control V to paste it down edit free transform to position it and rotate it right about there hit the check mark another square control V to paste another one down edit transform to flip it horizontally down here and then edit free transform to rotate it and position it you could change the size of the wings just by going up here and changing width and height just changing the percentage or you can do it manually like so. Alright, check the mark. And uh, by the way, you can isolate the wings. If you've got your layers on, you go to Windows and pick Layers, take the eyeball out, and it'll isolate the wings, and then you can mess with the color and the translucency. You've got all these different saturation, replace color. You can play with that separately. I like the way they look now. Now the final step is get your history brush which is right under the pencil or the paintbrush tool and just erase um, everything that's on top of her where it should be behind her. Since they're translucent it's not that hard to do. You can see through them. I'm going to zoom in. That's a little bit too tight. And I'm just going to make sure that the wings drop behind her. I can see the, sh the shoulder here and the arms like so. I might miss some of it because I'm pressed for time. I'm limited by time but you get the idea. Maybe right over the little flower here. Is and let's move that down. By the way, if you hit spacebar in Photoshop, you get the move tool temporarily, which is a very handy shortcut. Like so. And right, leave a little bit of the wing behind her armpit. Whoops, I cut too much. So I'm going to control Z to back up. torso and her arm her shoulder and we're almost done folks Okay, let's back up and see how that looks. Hey, that's pretty cute. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know. Send your comments and I'll have more for you in the future. Thank you. Yank Froggy out.